Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reduced drop rate of non-boss monster infrequent items. So that means if you've got a group of enemies that will drop um, a, an item that's unique to that group and they're not bosses, their drop rate has gone down in patch 1.2. The boss monster infrequence, the non-legendary stuff, the drop rate has gone up to 100%. But if you want something like a basilisk fang or a leaf mane horn, which are the things that I need, I need a basilisk fang for the metal, I need a leaf mane horn offhand, I could go and farm those things, it would take ages. There's a way to get around that. There is a shop that sells those items. It is in the ancient grove. Now, the vendor exploit, I'll quickly explain how the vendor exploit works. It's a shopkeeper, they all work the same way. Just remember Mage Storm Steel Heavy Axe of Alacrity, okay? <laughs> yeah. You should be able to. It's the third weapon across, it's that green thing there, okay? So what I'll do is I will rift away, not to the local rift, to any other rift, say Ugden Bog. I'll go here and I'll count to five, sort of. One, two, three, four, five. And you hope that's long enough and then you go back to where you came from mage storm something of alacrity wasn't it so you go back down here and talk to this guy and oh look it's all different so that's gone it was it, there's a different thing there now it's a decay in something of ruthlessness right so by going away to another rift coming back he's refreshed his inventory all the shops work like that the faction ones work as well that although their stuff doesn't change so if you have a look at this right Covenant Mind Bender Hood, that won't change, but those figures, those figures on there, 57% Vitality, 44 Ether, the 20% Chaos, the 20% Element, actually, remember 20% Chaos, 20% Elemental, okay? 20% Chaos, 20% Elemental on that hood. One, two, three, four, five, back we go. 20% elemental, 20% chaos. It was something like that, wasn't it? So I talked to him now and have a look. And oh, look, it's changed. It's 18% chaos, 29% elemental. So the stats refresh. Although the items stay the same, the stats refresh. So you can you can f farm a decent thing. They've put the prices of these things up. They've massively put the prices of these things up. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get a key. I'm going to get a key. I need a key. Oh, actually, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on my steps of torment run. Let's read some of these things and get rid of some stuff that I don't want. I'll fast forward this. Okay, so if you're if you're going to go into the ancient grove and farm the Vinylton shop you can't get out of there so what you want to do if you're going to replace that thing the best thing to do is take the gallstone actually let's take two just in case uh and i'm gonna i've got nothing oh actually i've got an emblem of focus rage on there so i want to go and get one of them so because you can't rift out of the ancient grove once you get past the skeleton key door and the shop is beyond the skeleton key door what you need to do is take any components and augments in with you. Just get up there. Any components and augments in with you that you're going to need so that you can swap your gear around and use it straight away. And it's by I'll try to put the price of this up. 950, no. Let's have a few of them. Right. I don't think I've got any augments that I can put on there. I can probably put that on, but I'll keep that. Actually, um, let's put it on there anyway. So I'm not going to swap my weapon range. So I can do that. I've got Vitrilic Gallstone. I've got that. Ember Focus Rage. I've got that. Okay, brilliant. So let's go back to Coven. <clears throat> i got my key. So I'm going to go into the Ancient Grove. What I'll do actually, I'll turn the mic off and I'll speed this up. Thank you. 
Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got one. <laughs> okay. Wasn't expecting that. Right, fantastic. So I might not have to buy one of those things. Aggressive of corrosion. Pretty good. Might not have to buy one, so that's going to save me some money. No, I already got that. Yeah, so although the drop rate's down, it doesn't mean you'll never ever get one. I was just really lucky then. So that's pretty good. But I don't think I'll get a Basilisk Fang. Right, let's go back into silent mode. If you complete the base game before you come here, I haven't because I've been using Merits. If you complete the base game before you come here, the Avatar of Modrigan will actually give you a quest and he'll give you a skeleton key. So if you don't have a skeleton key and you do the game properly chronologically, you'll get one at that point. Right, so I'm going to try and get through here without dying. The trick is, get through here without dying. <clears throat> I'm actually impressed with that leaf main horn drop. That was dead lucky. Glad I was recording when that happened. I didn't check my mutators, did I? Let's have a quick look. Oh, ether resistant. Okay, that's, mm, that's not that useful in here, but never mind. Monsters have reduced. Yeah, whatever. Swift. That's okay. That's all right. Nothing really horrendous. Hopefully they'll stay the same. Well, I don't think they will. I think they'll change when I go through the skeleton key door, but we'll see. Okay, we've got, oh, I've, yeah, I've already done the shrine in here, restore Sasso, right? There's a cat fight coming up. I can put a rift down, why not? Could be iffy. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, she's a bit evil. But, Dreeg's evil eye doing its thing. I'm sure you can't. Right, let's get through this door. Okay, so remember, ether resistance, speed up thing, whatever. Waste not, want not. Let's get through here. Remember, the whole point of coming in here is to farm the shop, not to do anything else. I might grab a few other things while I'm in here. I might try and do Gargabol just to do him. But, um... We'll see. Okay, feral thicket. So, ooh, it has changed, doesn't it? So, cooldowns were okay. Poisonous monsters are tainted with poison, doesn't really matter. Monsters attack slow opponents and monsters deal increased damage. Oh, God, okay, fair enough. Just got to be careful and go rushing in. At least they're not po I don't think they're poison resistant, are they? No. The shop's just up here. It's not far up. I mean, don't go into the tainted whatever thing down there because you might die. And you're, all you're here for is to farm the shop. Don't get carried away and start doing crazy stuff like playing the game. <laughs> right, it's just over this bridge. Just a little bit further. There's the ether boys. Yeah, it's not. Okay. 
Should see Vinylton pop up any second. There he is, I can see him on the map. There's the shop there, look, Vinylton, all natural wares. He's also a good place to get blueprints. So always check the blueprints when you're farming him, just in case there's something that really is really good. Right, there's a bunch of blue things that come out of the ground. Get rid of them first. Where are they? There they are. Before you start shopping. Otherwise it might go horribly wrong. Right, there he is. He's not an enemy. He's a shop. So you open him up. And the stuff I want is on this tab. So that's what I've got. Leaf Main Horn. He also sells them. Subjugators of Corrosion. 28,500, that's not too bad actually, 20, they're not too too expensive, Stor so Scorching is no good, that one, what you can do, oh, I've got a vitriolic gallstone on it, haven't I? it doesn't matter, um, hmm, that'll be a little bit, I shouldn't have put that on, should I, I should have waited, it doesn't matter, what you can do is you can buy one, and if you, as long as you don't close the shop window, you sell it back for whatever. So what you can do is you can have a look at, imagine that they didn't have the component on. You swap them around and you can see the difference. And then you sell it back and you don't lose the money. So that's that thing. The other stuff I want are basilisk, what are they called? fangs they've only got one there it is vigorous basilisk fang of mending oh, how much is it Th how much money have i got for oh, loads right so i could buy that yeah okay so we buy that thing and then can't where's it gone there it is i'll lose charge but let's just put it on anyway. See how much that went up. I mean, have a look at this. Look, twenty-seven one three three, twenty-nine set. So it massively puts. I haven't got charge. though, charge is gone for now. So what I can do is I can show you how to actually just check these blueprints. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It looks okay. Power pets, blueprint relic corruption. I've already got that. So if you haven't got corruption, you can come in here and you can buy it. He might not have it, but you farm him until he does have it. Arbiter, Glacier, Vortex Stone, Maven says. So you have a look at that stuff. Um, you can, uh, can you sell things to him? No, so you can't sell to him, which is a bit of a pain. He also sells the belts. So if you can't get a belt to drop, it sells all the guns and sells Bargol's stuff. So if you can't get Bargol, well, Bargol's now got 100% drop chance, so you, yeah, not really that useful. So if you want to farm him, what you've got to do is you've got to go to the portal. You can't rift out, you see, in here. If you try and rift, um, if you try and rift out, you can't teleport. So you can't do that trick. So what you've got to do is you've got to go to the internal portal to the next area. I'd recommend kill as many of these things as you can, but just so you get a clean run when you come back through. Level 41, okay. Physique, what was I doing? Uh, get me defensive stuff up a bit. Ooh, triple rare drop. I heard that. Nice. I mean double rare drop, not triple rare. I thought it was a monster and frequent, but it wasn't. There's a boss in there. I'm not going to fight him yet. I'll farm the shop a couple more times before I fight him. Actually, do you know what? I, I missed charge. I'm going to put... Um, go. I've got charge back now. 
and I also need to check the devotions because yeah it's on the unequipped one just be careful when you swap stuff around if you had a devotion attached to some item or a skill off some item make sure it's still attached to it if you change things around mm, look at that lot oh this might be a bit iffy let's get away from them yeah come and get stuck in the doorway guys Right. Right. Almost there. This will get quicker now. So what you're doing is you'll come in from Vinylton shop and you'll come in up here and across here to this portal. So you go through here. And it's the same deal as if you rifted. So you wait five seconds. One, two three four don't be in a rush to go back because if you go back too quickly you'll have to come back and do it all again right that's probably long enough because i killed everything and they don't respawn you can just run back that area down there where the boss fight is i might do him in a minute i'll just do a bit more farming first i mean vendor farming oh hello spiders missed you last time I come they must have spawned in behind me right so let's have a look what he's got now I'm just gonna have a look at the right so we got warding basilisk fang of mending it's a shame he's only got the one fang but there you go so warding's got ether resistance on it that's actually all right but um 22% ether resistance would be really good but I reckon I'll get I, I want something I want some really crazy poison damage I don't really bothered about resistances on that item not at the moment what have we got here hugged and juice again inferno that's a different one wasn't it marauder's talisman different terror different maven's land the same slightly more of them Leaf main horn, core stick of corrode. Oh, okay, that's really good. Mystic of corrosion is also pretty good because of the spirit. Core stick of corrosion, 147% acid. Oh, 92,000. See, you can go crazy, but it's normal, so I'm not that bothered. I think I'll leave it. We would up the damage quite a bit, but look at it. It's got spirit and offensive, high offensive ability on it. Oh, God. Oh, and vi vitality resistance that's a really good one uh, anyway you can see how to do this you go out you come back you buy stuff I'm not gonna up it again I'm just, oh, I'll just leave it I wanted to get a better one but you can see what I'm doing I might just keep doing this a bit off camera okay this is why you farm Vinylton or any other shop because you will occasionally get a really good item not that one that one <laughs> no that was pretty good of blight look at that there's a triple rare it's a double rare off and it's a monster infrequent look at the icon on it see look at the icon because the icon on mine it's like a just a plain silver gray icon that one's got a green emerald kind of thing set into it in the actual icon by the name because it's a double rare or what we call a triple rare because it's a monster infrequent with rare affixes caustic of blight 122 percent acid da acid damage plus 82 percent poison with plus 36 percent increased duration 52 percent vitality converted to acid 21 spirit 64 oa cast and speeds up it's got vitality resistance on it Still got the cooldown reduction plus three to blood bursts. That is that worth a hundred and hundred and seventy three thousand in normal? Oh, it's got that granted skill poison over on it as well. Oh sod it! <laughs> I want the I want that double rare thing right. So I brought two of them, which is you know whatever. Hang on a sec. Let's put that on. Has it gone? 
What's my Drink's Evil Eye attack now? 30k. <laughs> right, that's awesome. I think I could one-shot Rashalga with that setup now. I'm not kidding. Yeah, that's why you do that. I, I haven't even checked the um, Basilisk Fangs. What have we got here? Vigorous of Readiness. Nah. Battle Mages of Scorching. Nah. Uh, but two to Mirror, that's not really... Yeah, whatever. So yeah, so that's why that's why you farm the shops because you can get really good items. That was about the fourth, fifth attempt. I have been up into the next area and killed a bunch of stuff, and come back. I hope that was useful. And like you say, you can do that with any shop. This one is the most, one of the more complicated ones because you've got to run to a portal. On a normal one, you just rift out and rift back, and then you're laughing. If that was useful, let me know. If you've got a better way of doing stuff like this, also let me know or an alternative way. But, I mean, this works. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you all in the next video.